login in WordPress, add wp-login.php to your domain name, and it'll bring you to the login page for WordPress. Enter your username and your password, and click login. It'll bring you to the dashboard for WordPress. On the left hand side, press the down arrow key next to the word page and click add new. Enter the title for your page. And then enter your content in the content box below. When you're done adding the content, if you want to format, press the kitchen sink icon and it will reveal the second line of the toolbar. With the toolbar you can do many things. As I'm going to show in a few seconds, we'll be able to make text bold, change colors, underline, and change the size of fonts. To change the size, press the down arrow key next to the word paragraph. It will give you a list of the styles associated with this website. In this case, we're going to make sample 1 the heading 1. In sample 2, we're going to make it heading 2. We're going to make sample 2 indented. And then we're going to make sample 1, Either you can either make it numbered list, you can make it a bull list, you can do anything you want, but in this case we're going to um, make it a bulleted list. When you're done formatting content, scroll down to the bottom under discussion and make sure that you uncheck allow comments if that's your desire. If you wish to allow comments on this page, leave that checkbox checked. Scroll back up to the top and on the right hand side when you're done, click the word publish. To view your page you have two choices. You can either go up to the top where it says visit site and it'll take you back to the home page of your site. Or if you want to go directly to the page you can click the word view page. In this case, we're going to click View Page. As you can see, the text we selected to make underlined in blue is, in, is indeed underlined in blue. The bulleted text is correct, and the indent, indentation that we made on the sample 2 is correct. Now, to go back into WordPress as before, Add wp-admin to the end of your domain name and click enter. Brings you back to the dashboard. In this case we're going to go back in and edit the page we just created. So click edit. And then click edit again under the page that you wish to edit. Brings you back to the page we were just on. What I'd like to do is show you how to insert media files similar to Word, Excel, uh, PDF um, into your post. So if you notice right above the toolbar there's a word that says upload insert. There's four icons. The first one's to upload a picture, the second one a movie, the third one music, the fourth one is her media file. In this case since we're going to upload a PDF we're going to select the fourth one, the star, to upload a media file. Click select files and then go to your hard drive and find the file you wish to add to your post or your page in this case. We're going to collect and we're going to select this PDF. Now it's very important that whatever you add to the title line here is what's going to show up in the page itself. So in this case we're going to write post content. 
want to make sure under link URL that the file URL option is chosen. This way when people click on post content in your page, it will link directly to the file that we just uploaded. When you're done, click insert into post. And when you're when when you're done making additions, click the update button. We're going to view the page. And as you can see, post comment is underlined and it's now blue, indicating that there's a hyperlink attached to that phrase. You click on it and it brings you to the file that we just uploaded. You've successfully added a link to your site. Now, let's go back in. We're going to add a picture to the same post. So click Edit. Going to edit the page again. We're going to add a picture in between. This is a sample post and the post content hyperlink that we just created. So we're going to go up to Upload Insert. We're going to click on the first icon now where it says Upload Picture. We're going to select Files. It'll bring up a dialog box for your hard drive. And once again, you go out and find the file in which you choose to upload. In this case, we're going to pick this picture. We're going to give it a title so that way six months from now when you go to uh, add this picture again, you'll, under, you'll know what it is. The alternate text is the, fe is the text that when you hover over the picture on the website, a little dialog box will come up with whatever's in the alternate text file. In this case, we don't want anybody to be able to download the picture, so we're going to, under link URL, we're going to click None. Under Alignment, choose your alignment and your size, and then click Insert into Post. When you're done making your changes, you click Update to the page. And you view the page. As you can see, the picture is right justified. It's a medium size and it appears on the page about us that we just created. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. It is brought to you by Bennett Web Design located in Lumberton, New Jersey.